coming in decoders, I normally don't touch this at all, but you could if you, if like, again, this is just like if there seem like there's some problems with any of the footage you're um, getting um, or trying to use, um, that you could play around with these guys to try to fix it. So this has a lot to do with deinterlacing. So if you're bringing in an interlace signal, um, as well as um, FFmpeg uh, for decodes and stuff like that. Um, so you could set all that stuff up here. Here's recording. This is just where you'll set the folder for records. You can define the actual format of how it saves. Um, and then you could buffer things here too, um, which you'll put in your cache. You need to make sure you have a good enough graphics card to hold that in the cache. But you could do this, and this buffer will help um, with if you're receiving any drop frames, it'll make sure that the records don't get cut off. Uh, I believe so, at least. It might just be just some buffer for the recorder so it's less likely to fail. Um, but yes, yeah, so you could play around with that. Um, and then you could set this so any old settings will hold true if you're coming in and out of vMix files. Over here, external output. So here are the externals 1 and 2 that we saw here on outputs 1 and 2. Um, these are the settings for that. Very important here is there's a checkbox here to actually use the external render. If that's not checked off, nothing will happen. Um, so you could use your two hardware outputs that you're allowed here. Um, you'll set the device over here. So I'm using a Switch 4 right now, so I have four outputs available to me. Um, those also double up as inputs. So if I'm already using an input, on the capture card on Mimix, and I try to use it for an output as well, I'm going to get an error. So you can only, they are bi-directional, but once you decide in one direction and have signal passing through it, that's what you're locked to. So you'll have to um, rearrange things or delete an input or something like that if that's not what you want. Um, and you could also come over here and you could set any of the buses to be on the external output, um, which is a requirement. So for what we're doing in, um, Remy 1, if we want to record ISO vMix calls, let's say, we'll set that up over here. So we'll make external, we'll go into this menu, make this the vMix call input, let's say it's input 1, and then over here, let's say that we wanted the vMix call audio to be in bus A, we'll just go over here and select bus A. On, so now the video output has bus A, and we can record an ISO with audio in a HyperDAC, which is pretty great. Um, so I'm just going to go back, set this back to the way it was before. Um, so it's just one of those things if you're not hearing something correctly um, to check out in the external output because there is another layer of audio controls here. And this will trump all other controls as well. So if I had this output set to bus A, let's say, but then I was sending it out external one, it would get master audio. It would not get bus A in this situation. I would have to make this bus A as well or instead. Um, and then you can actually delay, if you're having AV sync issues, you can delay the audio here on the output as well.